If you're living with porokeratosis, you'll know the frustration. Treatments that sting or scar, creams that don't seem to work, and the constant reminder every time you look at your skin. But here's some good news. In the last few years, researchers have found something that really works, creams made from statins. Yes, that's the same drugs used to treat cholesterol. In today's video, I'll explain what porokeratosis is, the conventional treatments we've tried, and the new science behind statin creams and cholesterol creams, and why it's still out of reach for most people. Hi, I'm Dr. Finbar. I'm a GP specializing in dermatology and skin cancer. When I say porokeratosis in this video, I'm really talking mainly about one subtype, disseminated superficial actinic porokeratosis. Yes, that's a mouthful, so we'll call it DSAP for short. But there are other subtypes. DSAP is by far the most common. Now, firstly, let me reassure you that porokeratosis is not a skin cancer. It's a condition that causes small, multiple ring-shaped patches on sun-exposed skin. These patches have a slightly raised scaly border around the outside, the so-called carnoid lamella, and they gradually increase in number over time. For many people, porokeratosis is mainly a cosmetic concern. It often affects the forearms, the legs, and up around the shoulder area, and can cause embarrassment or frustration about its appearance. Even covering it with false tan or makeup doesn't work that well as it just highlights them even more. But it's more than just cosmetic. Like other types of porokeratosis, DSAP carries a small but real risk of transforming into skin cancer, particularly squamous cell carcinoma. That's why we don't just ignore it. Now, I'll link to a video I've made on SCC, squamous cell carcinoma, in the description below so you can watch it later to see what they look like. For decades, treatment has focused on removing or calming down the lesions. Cryotherapy can freeze individual patches, but recurrence is common and it's impractical when you have dozens of lesions. It can be quite traumatic to the skin and can cause blisters and scars and be very slow to heal on places, particularly like the front of the shins. Creams like 5-fluorouracil, previously known as Effudex, and Imiquimod are sometimes used, but they often cause painful inflammation and the results can be unpredictable. Other approaches like retinoid, which are vitamin A based oral and topical treatments, or vitamin D analogues, laser treatment or photodynamic therapy have also been tried, but again with mixed success. Now I've, so, I've already covered some of those in detail in other videos and I'll link also to those down below. More recently, research into the genetics of porokeratosis has changed the game. Scientists have found mutations in the mevalonate pathway. Now that's the same pathway that produces cholesterol in the skin. And this leads to a double problem, a shortage of cholesterol and a buildup of toxic byproducts that damage the cells. So the idea is really smart. Use a statin cream like lovastatin or simvastatin to block the toxic byproducts and combine it with a cholesterol cream to replenish what's missing in the skin barrier. So what does the evidence show? Well, in 2019, early case reports showed almost complete clearance of DSAP lesions with lovastatin plus the cholesterol cream. Since then, multiple case series have supported this approach. In 2023, a randomized control trial comparing lovastatin alone versus lovastatin with cholesterol, both groups improved by about 50% in 12 weeks. And interestingly, the cholesterol didn't seem to add much in that study, meaning that the statin alone might be enough to clear the DSAP. More recently, reports using simvastatin plus cholesterol have also shown success. So for the first time, we have a therapy that actually addresses the cause of DSAP, not just the symptoms. And here's where the frustration comes in. In the UK, there's no licensed cream. To get statin or statin plus cholesterol cream, it has to be specifically, specially compounded, what we call a specials prescription. That means it's not routinely available on the NHS and patients may need to pay privately for it. In the USA, it's a similar story. No FDA approved product currently exists. Some compounding pharmacies can make the cream under prescription, but again, it's custom, it's often out of pocket, and the access to that varies state by state. So while the science is gaining strength, the reality is that most patients can't simply walk into a pharmacy and pick up this treatment. 
The good news is that the awareness is growing about it. Dermatologists are increasingly reporting success with these creams for porokeratosis and more studies are on the way. With time and with stronger evidence, we may see a licensed product become available. Something that's consistent, affordable and accessible for all patients with porokeratosis. Until then, talk to your doctor. It might be possible to access the compounded statin creams through a special prescription, though availability depends on where you live. Porokeratosis has been neglected for years and many patients have felt like there's no real hope. The discovery of statin creams is a turning point. Finally, a treatment that makes sense. But for now, it remains just out of reach. If you'd like to learn more about the related conditions, I'll link below to my video on SCC skin cancer. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.